seeing corals reproduce for me is extremely special. I will never stop being impressed of how that all works. So it's just this really magical spectacle underwater. But it is pretty clear that coral reefs are in trouble. Because of global warming, they're not doing great. But I do like to talk more about the reefs that are showing signs of hope and recovery and rebouncing. At this point, we should stop measuring how much they're dying, but instead start measuring what actually makes them be more resilient or more capable of coping with today's conditions. We are with a group of people that are working with coral reproduction. So instead of working with fragmentation techniques, we use sexual reproduction of corals as an approach to multiply corals and help the next generations on coral reefs. People from different islands around the Caribbean they are coming over to Curacao specifically to learn the sexual reproduction of corals from some of the most experienced people in the field. And the idea is that eventually we'll get trained to start applying those techniques at their own locations. Corals will reproduce once or twice a year. So you first have to really calculate those calendars with predictions based on scientific information and monitoring data. And then you need to get ready with spawning nets. You need to have all the devices or the equipment to go catch it. So at that point, when you start seeing those sperm egg bundles appearing at the mouth of those colonies, that's when you want to start setting your nets. And so each net will be collecting from one different colony. And we pretty much just bring all of their sperm egg bundles from a really big open ocean to a small bowl. We bring them to the lab, we allow them to be fertilized, and then start with the magic. <laughs> when you start mixing sperm and eggs, and then you start seeing the first cell divisions, signs of success, you're creating new corals. And then eventually, once those eggs are fertilized, they form a larva. And eventually, those larvae will start swimming, and will start searching for a home to give those coral larvae a place to attach and grow. And from there, once they have attached to those substrates, we have to bring them back to the reef. So the idea is to put back all those baby corals back on the reef floor and form the next generation of corals. Working with baby corals, what can be better? <laughs> it's just, they're so amazing. They can do so many things. I and mean, besides the applicability of this kind of work, it's also just so amazing to watch corals grow and see what they do. Thank you.